Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be taking few important sums from 5th standard scholarship mathematics section. Okay, the first sum will appear on your screen. Observe the given figure carefully and find out the fraction for unshaded portion. See students, I have already drawn the figure here on the board. Now they are telling us to find out the fraction of this shaded portion. Students, please be careful. Whenever they tell you to write the fraction of the shaded or unshaded portion of a given figure, that figure can be anything, circle, triangle, rectangle, square, anything. Okay, you have to keep one thing in mind that whenever you are trying to find out the fraction all the shapes or the all the parts of that given figure must be of equal size okay we deliberately don't give the figure in that form we don't draw few lines okay now in this case if you observe this portion which is shaded is not same as this this is a bigger one isn't it right this is same but this shaded one and this unshaded one it is not equal so it is our duty to make it equal how can we do that we have to draw this imaginary line here so that all the parts are equal now now we are ready to find out the fraction now the job is very easy find out the total number of parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are total 8 parts. Out of these, how many are shaded? Only 2. Sometimes this is the answer, but you may not have this in the options. So students get confused whether I have done something wrong. No, believe in yourself. Right? Whatever you have done is absolutely correct. But to confuse you, what we do, we give the most reduced form of this fraction. What does it mean? If I divide this, 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8. Now new fraction is 1 upon 4. 2 upon 8 is same as 1 upon 4. We are not changing the value of the fraction. Right? This will be there in your option. So, your answer is 1 upon 4. One more instruction I would like to give you here. Sometimes we ask for the fraction of the unshaded part of the figure. Not always we ask to be shaded. So, here we need to read the sum properly. Right? Chal, aage badte hai. Students, read the next sum properly. Sanya sold 9 bags. The cost price of each bag was Rs. 375 and she sold each bag for Rs. 400. What was her total profit? See students, we are giving competitive exams, right? So we need to work smartly. In minimum possible efforts, we should get maximum results. So simple. What I am trying to tell you is that here they have given the cost price as rupees 375 and selling price is rupees 400 right and how many bags are there nine bags so if you know the formula sp minus cp is equal to profit selling price minus cost price will give you profit we all know this simple formula right I have seen students doing 9 bags into 375 which will give them, see what they do, 375 into 9. This will be total CP. 400 is the selling price. So 400, how many bags? 9. So this will give total SP. Then after doing this multiplication, if we do subtraction using this formula, we will get profit. There is nothing wrong in this. Absolutely correct. What is the important thing is time. 
how much time we will waste doing this multiplication and again this multiplication and then subtraction. If we get an easier way to do this, it will be very good, right? So what we can do, instead of finding out the profit of 9 bags, we will find out the profit for 1 bag. 1 bag sold for 400 rupees. Its cost was 375. So what was the profit? 25 rupees was profit for 1 bag. When we know the profit of 1 bag, it is so easy to find out the profit of 9 bags. Isn't it easy? Tell me. We will get exactly the same value if we do this. 375 to 9, 400 into 9 and then we do subtraction. We will get 225. What is the difference between these two methods is the time factor. Which is very very crucial in any competitive exams. Correct? So we have to work smartly. Chalo. Aage hai Students. Did the next sum properly? The length of the side of square is 15 cm. Find its area. I know this sum is very simple. It is based on formula. What is the area of a square? Side square is the area of the square. Right? Now they have given here side as 15 cm. We need to find out the area. What is the formula? Side square or S into S. Right? So 15 square which is 225. Right? I have deliberately taken this sum here. Students, we have observed many clever students also make silly mistake in uh, sums of area. Just because of the units. Wrong units. See here 225. Uske aage kya likhoge? That is going to decide whether you are going to get 2 marks or no. Okay? So, remember, area is always in squares. Mostly, the first option will be 225 centimeter. And most of the students in the pressure of that examination, they choose that. They see 225 and they are so happy, they choose the first option. But, we have to be alert about the units. In, especially in the sum of area. Okay? So, centimeter square wala jo 225 hai, wo lena hai. Even though that option may be fourth option. Right? So, that is why, just to emphasize on that fact, I have taken this particular sum. Okay? Chal. Aage hai bachche no? Students, here is the next sum. Hari walks 84 meter when he walks around the rectangular field. If the length of the field is 24 meter, find out its breadth. See students, you know by now, one round around anything, circular or rectangular or square, triangle, whatever it is, that is equal to the perimeter and in case of circle, it is circumference. Okay? So, it, addition of all these sides is perimeter. Okay? And which is same as one round. Let's do it. Now here is the rectangular ground. Length is 24 meter. 24 meter. This we don't know. We need to find out. And perimeter is 84 meter. Right? So what is the formula of perimeter of a rectangular? A rectangle is 2 times length plus 2 times breadth. Or same as this. Both formula are same only. Identical. Okay. This is relatively easy. That is what I feel. If you are comfortable using this, we can do that also. Okay. Now in this case, what have they given? Perimeter means one round, which they have given as 84. Okay. 2 into L. L is 24. Plus 2B. B we don't know. We need to find out. Here again the concept of bond mass, we need to do this first. So 84 is equal to 48 plus 2 times B. Now 48 we are taking it to the other side of equal to. So it will be minus 48. And here what will remain? 2B. Now this is 
36, right? 2 times B. So, 1 times B will be 36 divided by 2. That will be B, which is same as 18 centimeter. That is what they have asked. Right? This sum is based on formula, which is the formula of perimeter. And in that, we need to observe the bond mass. Okay? And solve it. Sometimes they will give you breadth. They will ask length. Sometimes they will give you length and ask for breadth in this case. Right? Sometimes they will give you both and they will ask you to find out the perimeter. So simple. The formula is same. Students, enough for this video. I will definitely come very soon with the next video. I have already uploaded few videos about important sums and uh, practice questions. Please go through all of them. They are very very important from examination point of view. That will definitely help you to clear most of the concepts. Okay. Students enough for today. Please subscribe to my channel in case you have not done. Okay. Share these videos with your friends also. Okay. So they also will get benefit from it. Okay. I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then what are you supposed to do? Study well. And very important thing is enjoy studying. Bye.